boys and girls. It's story time. I'm Miss June, children's librarian at the Rutland Free Library. Today we have some songs to sing together. I have an activity to show you, and then I'll let you know what today's book is. So let's begin by singing Here We Are Together, so we can say hello to everyone. Ready? Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together, so let's say hello. Hello, boys and girls. Glad you came to story time today. Let's sing one of my favorite songs, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above our world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, um, today's activity, boys and girls. May Day is coming up. Friday, May 1st, is called May Day. And the activities that I have to show you today are ideas for making some May baskets. May baskets are hung on people's doors as a nice surprise. It's a gesture of friendship and it's something nice to do for people. So these are two ideas for May baskets that I made. And you make it with a square of paper, it's folded, and it's very easy to make. This one I decorated with crayons and a piece of tape. And I think in my pink May basket, here's an idea for you. I went out into my yard to see what was growing. And I found some daffodils and some blue myrtle and I've been keeping them in water. For my May basket, I wrap the flowers in a little saran wrap and I could put them in my May basket and hang them on a friend's door, maybe someone in your neighborhood. Hang it on their doorknob, knock, and then they will be surprised when they come out and find that. The other May basket I made, I decided to put some wrapped candies in. So my May basket says Happy May Day and I'm just going to fill it with some of these wrapped candies and that can be hung on a friend's door also. So those are two May baskets. You might find dandelions growing in your yard. Maybe you have some daffodils. They need to be kind of small flowers. So how do you make a folded May basket? I'm starting with a piece of square paper. That means it has four equal sides. That's a square. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it, take the top piece, holding it as a as a um, diamond shape. I'm going to take the top piece and bring it right down to the bottom piece. Just like that. And now I have a triangle shape. The next step is to take the bottom piece here and fold it right across so it comes straight across to the other side and we have that straight edge. And do the same to this one. Fold it right across it now looks like that. It's almost done. You have two pieces just like this. Fold one down and then fold the other one down. It almost looks like a cup. It can be opened up or a little basket. Now you can leave those pieces out like that. 
This one I left the white piece out so I could write Happy May Day. Or if you want it to look different, you can fold that piece right inside your basket so it looks pink and you don't see the white paper. This other one I'm going to fold right in here. I'm going to tuck it right inside there if I want to. And now I have my May basket. I made little holes on either side and that is where I put my ribbon on either side so that I could hang it on a doorknob and give it to a friend that way. So all you need will be any size square of paper and you can fold it in to a little May basket and hang it on a friend's door, fill it with some candies, or fill it with some flowers. So that's the activity that you may want to try today, boys and girls. Here's today's book. It's called The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Bister. And The Rainbow Fish is about friendship and sharing so, you may want to listen to this book. It can be found on the link storylineonline.net and just use the search box to find today's book, The Rainbow Fish. And after you finish listening to that, you may want to think about friendship and sharing and make one of these May baskets to give to a friend. Thank you for coming to Storytime today, boys and girls. Bye.